Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from Mobox and I am back with another graphics video tutorial. This time I'm gonna show you how to do a number counter or a YouTube number counter in particular with the commas. So um, I will be using code from um, a forum member called uh, Randy Rubin from creativecow.net. Um, he made a very good expression to help us complete this uh, tutorial. So um, here is the form and uh, I'll be linking this down in the description. What you want to do is just come to this and scroll down and you'll see this expression. It's very useful. I use it all the time. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. So here we are in After Effects and I have this kind of mock YouTube background here. Um, you can see uh, not many, many, many layers here to accomplish this, but uh, what you will notice is that there is no view counter. So uh, that's what I have here, what I have here. And I basically just uh, added a text called, uh, just made a text with 100, lined it up next to views, and made sure that the paragraph was set to write a line. So that way, when it counts, it counts moving this way as opposed to in the center, and then it, it just messes up. So uh, what we need to do is we need to search for effects and presets, and we need to search for uh, slide control <laughs> slider control so you just want to drop that on the 100 and what this basically does is it allows you to add basically just a number slider so um, this text obviously does not have a number slider if you open up the text here you can see source text you could change the source source text so for example um, by the way I'm gonna make this marry to the YouTube page that way um, I did animate this this YouTube page slightly for the intro um, to kind of just zoom out. So yeah, I'm just gonna make this uh, 100 attached to it. I'm also just gonna move the 100 over just a tad. Anyways, okay, so coming in here to source text, I could hold Alt and press on the keyframe uh, button. And what this does is allows me to write an expression. Now I could take this pip whip and I could add it to the slider control. So what this one now allows me to do is make this slider control increase, increase, increase. The downside is there's no comma. So if you don't need a comma and this is just all you needed this tutorial for, then you're done. You could just add a keyframe for the slider. You go down a couple seconds and then you change the number. And if I press you on the keyboard, you'll see these two keyframes and you'll see that it's increasing. Now the problem that you'll notice is that it's doing the decimal places. That's why it's all messed up. So what you could do, um, you can come back into the slider control here or uh, uh, actually the uh, text, source text code. And you could write something like uh, capital M-A-T-H math um, round and then just add parentheses here and it will round it. So it just got rid of the decimal places. If we watch it now, no decimal places, but still no commas. Okay, so this is where that expression comes in. You just wanna copy that expression. Just select it, copy it. I am no good with expressions, but expressions are a really good way to expand, uh, expand your knowledge. But just as a rough outline, basically it's saying, um, take the number from the slider control um, and the name of the function is comma. Basically, you take the number and you round the number. And if the number is greater than three, then you do this. If the greater, if the if if it's not greater than three, else output. So if it's greater than three, now it takes into account um, the very var the number length, um, and it does stuff. It divides by three to check to see how many decimal places there are, or how many how many. Um, whole numbers there are and then it adds a comma where necessary um, but if, if you want to go deeper into that you you can I'm just gonna hit control C and come here and then just control V and basically it adds a comma <laughs> that's all that that does so now what we have is now we have a, a YouTube counter so now you could do cool things like this so again if that's all you wanted to see um, congratulations, in under five minutes, you knew, you found out how to do a, a counter with a comma um, following the link down in the description. But we want to obviously do much more than that. So I'm just going to press you on the keyboard to see these keyframes. I'm going to drag this out. Um, 
extend this white background out as well. I extended the length of the composition, so that's why it wasn't there. And so I'm gonna press G on the keyboard. I want it to start at maybe 100 views. And then come here, press G on the keyboard, it snaps to that keyframe, and I want it to maybe be like 3 million. Let's see, let's see if this code works into the millions. I did not check that, and it does. But unfortunately, it only goes up to a million. Um, and I think the reason being is that you divide by three so many times. Um, actually, no, the slider control only goes up to a million. So, um, yeah, that's the limitation here with this slider control. You can um, come here and uh, let's see. Come into here and see if maybe we can do the slider control times times um, times ten to see what that does. But I think we will lose our decimal play or our comma. Um, we actually want to do it by a thousand. Oh, we don't lose our decimal place. Okay, so if you want it to go up to a billion views, um, you will need to. Um, you will need to add some extra numbers there to the slider control. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you get the million and that's how you can increase it to a billion. Again, you would just wanna multiply um, that slider control by a hundred. The only problem is, is that now you'll lose uh, definition here, but for most effects, that's probably good enough. Now, uh, I'm just gonna do one last thing and I am going to set keyframes, pull these back, and I'm gonna kinda of do a little cool animation here. Anyways guys, there you have it. That's how you make a quick YouTube counter in After Effects. Again, um, this was all thanks to uh, Randy Rubin over at uh, creativecow.net. Uh, you should definitely check out creativecow.net. There's tons and tons of great resources over there with a whole lot of um, people who help other people and who create uh, who create nice expressions like this. Well, anyways, guys, if you want to see more, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a like and let me know in the comments down below anything that you would like to know how to do in After Effects. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.